water fluoridation in 2011, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency lowered the recommended level of fluoride to 0.7 mg l. In 2015, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, based on the recommendation of the U.S. Public Health Service for Fluoridation of Community Water Systems, recommended that bottled water manufacturers limit fluoride in bottled water to no more than 0.7 mg per liter, milligrams per liter, equivalent to parts per million. These standards are not appropriate for all parts of the world, where fluoride levels might be excessive and fluoride should be removed from water, and is based on assumptions that have become obsolete with the rise of air conditioning and increased use of soft drinks, processed food, fluoridated toothpaste, and other sources of fluorides. Because fluoride levels in water are usually controlled by the solubility of fluorite, high natural fluoride levels are associated with calcium deficient, alkaline, and soft waters. The FDA states that bottled water products labeled as deionized, purified, demineralized, or distilled have been treated in such a way that they contain no OR only trace amounts of fluoride, unless they specifically list fluoride as an added ingredient. Fluorosis fluoride's adverse effects depend on total fluoride dosage from all sources. Fluoride concentration levels in water supplies are regulated, such as United States Environmental Protection Agency regulates fluoride levels to not be greater than 4 mg per liter. Actually, water supplies already have natural occurring fluoride, but many communities chose to add more fluoride to the point that it can reduce tooth decay. Fluoride can occur naturally in water in concentrations well above recommended levels, which can have several long-term adverse effects, including severe dental fluorosis, skeletal fluorosis, and weakened bones. Water utilities in the developed world reduce fluoride levels to regulated maximum levels in regions where natural levels are high, and the WHO and other groups work with countries and regions in the developing world with naturally excessive fluoride levels to achieve safe levels. Larger water systems have lower per capita cost, and the cost is also affected by the number of fluoride injection points in the water system, the type of feeder and monitoring equipment, the fluoride chemical in its transportation and storage, and water plant personnel expertise, 9475E13F1589.